popping, y'all. It's your boy K Narrate, bro. A lot of y'all found this video or you even over here on this channel because you lost something. And no, I ain't talking about your girl. I'm not talking about the physical thing that you lost. Oh, I lost my wallet. No, I'm not talking about none of that. You lost something. And you need to take away the number one thing that loss teaches you, bro. You lost a piece of you. You lost a piece of identity, a piece of self, a piece of your ability to put the pieces back together. Because the reality is when a woman leave you, when that job don't want you, when something occurs in your life that rejects you, you shouldn't fall apart, bro. You should pick it all back up and go harder the next time. You should always take the lesson that loss teaches you and move forward. And I'm going to tell you what that is in a minute. Just hit that like comment subscribe share the video that's the most important thing here but anyway let's talk about it for real the most important thing that loss teaches you is you have the ability to move forward adjust and keep going because if it didn't if it was going to unalive you it would have did that bro but the power behind it is this that woman leave you bro she don't want you no more she chose somebody other than you now you get to wake up every single day and prove why that was the worst choice she could have ever made. That job didn't want you no more. They fired you. You get to wake up every day and prove that was the worst choice they ever made, bro. You get to work on you. You get to work on your passion, your fashion, your skill, become a better version of yourself, bro. I'll tell y'all this story. I had this homie, right? He was with this girl. She It was like five years. They was together for like five years or whatever. And out of the clear blue sky, like he wanted to marry her. He was like looking for engagement rings. I had actually went out with him. We was going to go. We was going to find engagement rings and everything, blah, blah, blah. So he could propose to her. He was planning this grand spectacle and everything. And whole time I'm like, okay, cool. Like whatever. And I hadn't seen him in a while, you know, so we would chill off and on but this particular day we was you know going out doing this thing this errand for him and during the time when we was doing this errand like he's just raving about this girl gushing about her, how much he love her, how much he want to be with her, how much he want to marry her he spent the rest of his life blah, blah 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 it was sickening but eventually this woman just out of the clear blue sky bro before he could ever propose or any of that stuff she ups and she leaves him she just flat out leaves that man high and dry done all of his plans for the future donezo everything he wanted with her gone she chose something more bro no explanation do they ever really give you a good explanation no but no explanation she leave him what was supposed to be his next course of action was he wake up the next day or whenever he get himself together after feeling emotionally distraught and decide I'm going to be the best version of myself. I'm going to be the version that's undeniable that if that ever happened again, she would immediately regret that decision, bro, in the future. Or even better, it won't happen again because I'm going to be so undeniable that she wouldn't even think to do that, right? Nah, he cried about it. He sulked for months, bro, months. And if you got three months to sulk, Bro, you got three months to grind. If you got three months to cry and whine and wait on her, you got three months to grind, bro. You got six months to do that. You got six months to grind. See, the problem is a lot of guys, y'all ain't grinding the way you're supposed to. You ain't getting to it. You ain't telling yourself that you ain't got no choice but to become better, bro. Because you never want to feel those same feelings that that loss, that sense of loss gave you again, bro. Oftentimes in our lives, we lose some things we can never get back. We lose certain things, people, loved ones, whatever, bro. We lose those things. The only way to truly not regret that loss, bro, the only way to truly not live in that loss and let that loss become a part of your identity and lose essentially a part of your identity to that loss is to grind to become the best version of you. It's to go and get everything you wanted, bro. Now, I can't tell y'all, that man got a six-figure job. He doing real well. He doing better than he ever was. But it was because he wasn't the man he wanted to be. 
He didn't have a six-figure job. He didn't have the car he wanted. He didn't have the clothes he wanted to wear. He wasn't in a space that he wanted to be. But right now, he getting bread, bro. He like a barber barber getting bread. And it's because he had that time to focus. He let that loss propel him after he soaked for six months, whatever. He let the loss propel him, bro. He let that loss be his engine to put that battery in his back. And you got to do the same, bro. You got to let it put that battery in your back. You got to let it get you going, make you want to get there. Because guess what? That same woman, she called him back. Ring, ring. I remember the day, too. I was there. She called him back. Oh, um, I'm just in the neighborhood. Funny thing enough, I'm getting my lineup. I'm just in the neighborhood. And, you know, I wanted to stop by. She stopped by. Now, mind you, he got another woman, bro, better woman, more, he more in love with her. She got more form, blah, blah, blah. She's coming to the barbershop or whatever, and she, like, making eyes at him. We can all see it, whatever, like, because he, he's that guy now, right? And he, like, curbed her because guess what? He leveled up to the point where he got better. And they don't ever want you to do that. Here's the reality. They don't want you to do that. They're going to tell you, be yourself, stay the same, be the same guy. You're you're lovely. You got a good heart. But none of that mean anything, bro. It means nothing. It means nothing if you're not getting the results that you want. So you got to go and you got to do what it takes to get the results that you want, bro. Stop listening to people tell you just because you got a good heart, things are going to be handed to you. They not, bro. And you're going to see the minute you start leveling up, the minute you start grinding, the minute you start becoming better, all of it going to come come at you in waves. It will be calling back, popping up, stuff like that. And now as a man, you have to decide, am I strong enough in the journey that I'm walking to make the right decision? Do I want this woman back? Is she good for my life? I'm doing better without her. So maybe I shouldn't even give her the time of day, whatever. But as a man, you have to let loss become a part of you, but a good part of you. It has to be something that's a driving force to you, bro. So remember, you ain't you ain't lose everything. You gained everything. You lost one thing. It's your boy, Kane Ray, man. Hit the like, comment, subscribe. I'm a badass.